feel like I put on a little too much blush. Chloe, <laughs> don't be disturbing my video, gal. Go play with your toys or go potty. Tell me, baby. Hi, guys. Chloe is loose, so if you hear a squeak, that's my dog. But today I wanted to come to you and do a video all about my acne journey. This, what I feel is a lifelong journey of my acneic skin while also giving you guys some tips and recommendations as far as the products that I'm currently using and things that I do to keep my skin looking as clear as possible. I have struggled with acne for, <laughs> I'm not gonna exaggerate and say 20 years, but more than a decade for probably more than half of my life, probably, yeah, I think so. Um, I've always experienced breakouts and my skin has gone through stages. Uh, sometimes it's not as bad, like right now it's pretty good, um, but I went through a rough patch probably when I was between the ages of like 16 to 21 and my skin was just out of control. Um, so I definitely tried a lot of products. I wanna talk about all that and uh, different things that work for me and things that might work for you. So first I wanna talk a little bit about my skin. I do have oily skin, uh, very oily skin, it's acneic. Um, I am more prone to breakouts probably around like my cheeks and jawline area. Part of that is because I do experience a lot of hormonal acne. I think that's really the only type of acne I get. I don't tend to break out like if I wear makeup. Uh, I never sleep in makeup, so that's never an issue, but most of my acne is hormonal. I do have PCOS, which is polycystic, ovarian or ovary syndrome ovarian syndrome probably so that has caused like my hormone levels to fluctuate and that's a whole nother topic on its own but that contributes to a lot of the acne that i get and that is the main reason why i'm still experiencing acne in my late 20s <laughs> i remember first getting acne ooh it had to have been when I was in high school maybe. I remember in middle school my skin was still nice and smooth and silky but in high school I started to really struggle with it and I think at the age of 16 I finally went to a dermatologist and at that time it was still pretty mild but I was just noticing that I was always breaking out and I, in my mind I was thinking I should be kind of not breaking out as much. So I was put on doxycycline, I believe, which is an antibiotic. I was put on Retin-A, I believe, and also birth control to regulate my hormones. And that didn't really work for me. I'm gonna come out and say that nothing that I have tried from the dermatologist so far has worked for me. So that was at 16. I'm also going to admit that I'm not the best patient. If I'm going to the doctor and I'm not seeing results, I will discontinue using products just because I feel like that doctor is not for me. So I stopped going to that dermatologist and I would say um, maybe around 18, yeah, my first year of college, so maybe like my last year of high school, I went to another dermatologist and I was like, oh, this is awesome, she's a black woman, maybe she's gonna know more of my struggles, and I just felt like this would be a better dermatologist. I actually ended up really not liking her. She had horrible bedside manner. She didn't really have um, <laughs> nice, I don't know, whatever you would call that. I didn't really like her. She would disappear and not come back and I just kind of felt like I didn't have a chance to ask her maybe the questions that I was having. So that was kind of um, difficult for me. That kind of turned me off from going to the dermatologist. But at that point, I was put on Accutane. Now Accutane is a really harsh drug. I believe it's almost like the pill form of Retin-A and it's a drug where you have to have your, I think, liver or you have to take blood tests to make sure that your body is functioning properly. If you're a woman of childbearing age, you have to be on birth control because it can cause severe birth defects. So at that point, I was taking Accutane, I was taking birth control, I was taking, was I taking a topical Retin-A? Probably not because that would have been too much. But I was taking Nuquin, which was the hydroquinone product that I've spoken about in previous videos. I will try to link that video below about fading acne marks. So at that time, um, my decision to go on Accutane was kind of like my skin had peaked at its worst, probably around the age of 18. And you know, I wanted beautiful skin just like all my other friends, but I knew that the way my body is just 
like it was just a mess so i went on accutane that was like my last resort and accutane did work for me is it raining yeah <laughs> Accutane worked for me, but the side effects to me were just not worth it. I had really dry skin and lips. It really affected my mood. I felt like I was feeling sad. It was just too harsh of a drug. And to me, the effects weren't worth the uh, results I was seeing. My skin was clearing up, but it wasn't I just didn't feel comfortable being on that medication, especially your first year of college. Like that's a big adjustment. And then to be thrown into it on this medication that is kind of making your emotions go up and down. That was just a lot for me. Um, my face was dry. My skin was dry. My eyes were dry. My lips were peeling. Sometimes I felt like I couldn't focus. It was just not a great medication to be on your first <laughs> year of college. So I stopped using that. And as soon as I stopped using it, my acne came back. Now I was on it for, I would say, over a year and my doctor told me that some patients have to go on it for two years some patients have to do two rounds of two years but that was just not an option for me so after that phase of going through Accutane I decided to discontinue it and I also stopped seeing that dermatologist now I will say right after I decided to go off Accutane I started having gallbladder issues I started experiencing gallstones and I honestly think that Accutane was to blame for that because because like other than that I was a relatively healthy person like I'd never been on any types of medication like that and I had to have surgery to get my gallbladder removed so once again that's a whole nother story but that's just another precautionary thing that's just something that I would think about if you are going to go on Accutane I don't even know if Accutane is still on the market um I wouldn't really recommend it just because I didn't have a positive experience experience yeah I'm not gonna recommend it <laughs> then when I was about 20 that's when I got the diagnosis for PCOS and that's kind of when I started to realize okay maybe this is why I feel like I can't lose weight easily I have I still have hormonal breakouts I mean by the time you're in your early to mid 20s you would think that you won't be breaking out like that. So that was the first sign for me and that's why um, I went to the doctor and I actually got that diagnosis. And of course, treatment for PCOS, I started that. That's a whole nother video. But basically, um, by the age of probably 21, I wasn't taking any of the medications from any dermatologist. I was just kind of doing my own thing. And that's kind of where I found a liking to skincare because that's when I was getting into makeup, probably around 18. Uh, so that's when I decided I'm just gonna focus on my skincare. I'm tired of going to doctor's appointments, wasting money. Like, I'm just gonna try to do what I can at home to try to heal my skin. I will say that now, even years later, I don't think I have healed my skin, but I think a combination of the things that I'm doing with my diet and in conjunction with products that I'm using I really found a routine that works for me. So I have one blemish right here and then I have one somewhere over there but I really don't tend to break out a lot and when I do it's very short and I know what to do to get my skin back to looking uh, how I want it. So yeah that's pretty much my acne journey. I have gone to countless dermatologists. I have tried countless products, over-the-counter prescription, and honestly, nothing has really worked. But what I have found to really work for me, one of the things that I think has just tremendously made an improvement in my skin is drinking only water. I think, and maybe at the top of this year, I switched over. Um, you know, I used to love juice. You guys know I love sweets. I love my wine. Um, I love tea, coffee, but I just decided one week, let me try drinking water only. And this is the water that I'm drinking now. This is alkaline water, but I drink water solely. If I'm not drinking water, um, I'll probably have coffee maximum twice a week. Every now and then I'll have my wine. <laughs> but water is the main thing that I think has really helped to just clear up my skin. I was never a big soda drinker, but I really liked juice. Uh, but I, I don't know, I just find that, you know, drinking water overall is just good for your body. It's good to flush out toxins. And I don't know, I think that that's been the biggest thing that I've seen an improvement 
um, on since starting to solely drink water with exception of like my adult beverages. So water, water, water. I drink probably half a gallon a day. <laughs> it's all I drink. Some of my friends think that I am crazy, but I don't know. I've just gotten used to it. And honestly, I'd rather eat those calories anyway. So that works out for me. <laughs> Some other skincare that I found to work. One is going to be a spot treatment gel. And this is the Target brand up and up maximum strength 10% benzoyl peroxide gel this is what it looks like it's compared to the clean and clear Persa gel 10 this is my holy grail acne medication you guys I have tried things from Kate Somerville Peter Thomas Roth of course I've tried things from the dermatologist nothing has worked as well as this has and this is about five dollars you guys it is a store brand but I am all here for saving some money but I promise try this guys it will really work for you I find that salicylic acid doesn't work with my skin the same way benzoyl peroxide does I feel like benzoyl peroxide works to better dry the blemish out and I don't know I feel like salicylic acid sometimes is a little too harsh so definitely a spot treatment is what I use I also do masks and I've talked about masks on my channel before I just really find that they're great when you're experiencing a blemish because it's targeted for a specific reason so I do have one cleanser that I also use and I will talk about that in a second but the two masks that I use are the Neutrogena clear pore cleanser mask now this is a cleanser and you can also leave it on your face and use it as a mask I don't tend to use it as a cleanser because it is kind of drying it's kind of like a clay mask but not really it's a thick white substance. I don't put it on my whole face. I will just put it on targeted areas. No baby, you can't have this. This works really, really nice. It just gives your skin like a deep cleansing feeling. Like it says, it really clears your pores. And then the second one I really like is my Bosha. Um, so I would say if you wanna spend a little more or try this out, go for Bosha. If you're looking for something that's more um, pocket friendly, I would try the Neutrogena. But what I like about this is, this is black and white charcoal. And I've done a review on this product. I'll leave it down below. A lot of the times when you're looking at masks geared toward people with acneic skin or blemish prone skin, they're going to have black charcoal because black charcoal kind of acts as a magnet to bring all the bacteria dirt and debris to the skin to the skin surface so I really like that but the problem I was having is that charcoal or clay masks are just really really drying so the white charcoal really helps to give you that balance between hydration and drying the actual blemish out so I really love this as well this is really easy to rinse off you guys know how I feel about masks that are hard to get off so I really like that the cleanser that I use I don't have it with me right now but it is the Murad who I'll post a picture it's the Murad cleanser for the acne line once again that's something that I only use when I'm breaking out I won't use it like every day of the month just when I'm experiencing blemishes I really like that product because it's it's like gentle but it's still effective it does feel very soothing calming um, on the skin and it also doesn't dry your skin out so I do like that that product actually does have salicylic acid in it but I find when I'm using something like a cleanser I can use salicylic acid because it's just gonna be rinsed off and something else that I like doing is using toners exfoliating pads anything like that so I have two to share with you guys the first one is my holy grail these are my facial radiance pads by first aid beauty um, these are pads to tone reduce texture and increase the brightness of your skin these are really great for exfoliating that's one thing that I also find is useful because a lot of times when you have trouble with acne you're left over with scars and I will insert a picture here of my face this is what I look like currently today right before I filmed this and put on makeup um, so I still do have acne scars so that's the biggest thing that I'm working on now acne is something that I'm going to deal with for a while but anything I can do to diminish the scars really really works and that's what I'm focusing on so I really love these and then another toner that I've recently started using is the pixie glow tonic now I like this because um, it's in a liquid form so it's a little easier to use it's a little quicker to use it also has glycolic acid in it so it does also exfoliate your face so I like this as well 
And then along with cleansing, I find that my Clarisonic is really essential as well. I don't necessarily use this much for exfoliation, but when I feel like my pores are just really clogged and I need a deep cleanse, I will definitely use my Clarisonic because it cleans way better than just with your hands. So Clarisonic Mia 2, this is something that I love. And that's Chloe. <laughs> so yeah, I think those are all the products I have to share with you guys. Like I said, my routine is just basically all around diminishing my acne scars. Another product that I use is a retinol, that Sunday Riley Luna Oil. I will link my review of that product down below as well. That's really helped with my scars. But I think right now I'm just at the point where I don't want to go to the... I don't want to go to the dermatologist and get on any medications. I don't want to put anything else into my body. I just want to try to heal my skin naturally. So for me, it's been taking care of my skin through the skincare and really just increasing my water consumption. And I found that that works great for me. So if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.